trees. One, they come out, they hit the first box, they do the post. They walk down it, they hit the next box, they do the post. What's up guys, John here with my gorgeous wife, Sharice. Hi guys. And we are here for the Cars and Couture event. This event is a charity event for Autism Speaks. It's an upscale gala with James Bond themes. So I got this beautiful custom tux made, right? <laughs> I love this bow tie, I must say. But listen, we're having this for a great cause. And it's gonna be an upscale fashion show, exotic cars, fine cuisine, and crafted cocktails. It's gonna be a night to remember for sure. So this is just the pre, all right, gala. And we're gonna go there and show off Titan Medical Center fashions and all our great designs with our beautiful Titan and Titan Nets. And we're gonna have a hell of a time there. So come follow us, enjoy the night through the lens in this video, and we'll see you on the flip side. I'll see you then. Hello everybody, thank you. My name is John Sikoris and this is my beautiful, drop dead, gorgeous wife, Cherise Sikoris. And we are the owners of Tight Medical Center, which we have that beautiful booth back there, and those awesome exotic cars. So, what we do is, we want to make you guys feel better, look better, and perform better. With our therapies, we cover hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss options, vitamin and amino acid injectable therapies, the B1 enhancers, Peptides, like healing peptides, weight loss peptides, and sexual peptides. Plus we have all kinds of libido enhancers for males and females. And if you guys are in the area, come check out our headquarters down in Tampa. We can set you guys up with an ID or do a medical consultation and find out what's best for you guys. I want to take one moment here to say a huge thank you to Donna Crowley. Tell me Donna doesn't put on like the best events ever. And every year, it just gets better and better and better. So Donna, wherever you are, because I'm sure you're doing something very important. This is right there. Yes, I love you, Donna. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out and always supporting Donna's events, always supporting Titan events. It just means a lot to us. So thank you guys, you all look beautiful tonight. Let's enjoy this awesome night that was put together by awesome Donna Crowley and watch these beautiful models rock the runway. Thank you guys.
matter what your journey may be, Titan Medical Center can help you get there while looking better, feeling better, and performing better. Achieve your goals while performing at optimal levels. Start living your life to the fullest. For more information on how Titan Medical Center can help you, call 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? This is Big Drew. Just wrapped up stuff from the live. I'm actually going to talk to you guys today about healthy eating habits. You guys know me. I used to always eat McDonald's. I used to brag about being able to eat McDonald's and still have a shredded physique until I got my blood work done, until I realized that all that garbage food I was putting into my body, even though I wasn't seeing a reflection on the outside, it was tearing me up on the inside. So um, what actually got me to start eating healthy was my birthday about two and a half years ago. I was at the beach, had my shirt off. You know me, I'm always thinking I'm, I'm ripped up and you know, I'm always, I stay leading you around, people that know me. Someone was recording me from the back and as I was walking away, I saw a little, little love handles in the back shaking as I was moving. Now to me, and to me, I seemed fat. I seemed out of shape to the other person to the average person that might say, you know, he's a ripped up guy. But that was to me a deciding factor. All those years eating those garbage McDonald's and fast food, even though I was shredded, even though I was veiny and had abs and everything, it was going back there. So I didn't ever saw it because I looked in the mirror, but I saw it back there. From that point on, I decided to eat healthy pretty much all the time, not just if I'm competing for a bodybuilding show. I'm not competing anymore. I'm not competing this year. But I still live the bodybuilding lifestyle. I eat clean. I eat six to seven meals a day. I try to do at least a gallon, sometimes two gallons of water a day. It's worked out great for me. I've lost about 15, 20 pounds. Originally, when I was with Titan, I was 305. Now I'm 280, 285. I feel great. My waistline's tighter. My blood pressure's a lot better. All my levels on my blood work are showing up excellent. So I feel a lot better, guys. So to you guys out there, even though you can eat, Candy and fast food and stay ripped. It is damaging your body on the inside. It's only a matter of time before it takes its toll, whether it's on your liver, your kidney, belly fat, body fat, or even your organs, your skin. Everything is affected by healthy eating, guys. So clean up your diet, clean up your life. If you need help, we can take care of it here at Titan Medical. Call 727-389-3220. We could actually do a food allergy test, which is going to determine which foods work best for your body. So that's pretty much what got me started eating healthy. It took that one video and that one picture of me seeing my lower back. I didn't like the way it looked. So from then, from that point on, I decided to eat healthy. Now I eat healthy pretty much all the time. Yesterday was a holiday, so I kind of indulged a little bit. But again, I do about 85 to 90% healthy now. And I have my 10% enjoy myself and have you know pretty much whatever I want. So about two to three cheat meals a week. Everything else is clean, healthy. I do no sugar, I do no dairy, and I try to keep my sodium next to nothing. I mean, obviously you need a little bit of sodium, you don't want to cramp and stuff, but um, keep my sodium low, my sugar low, and again, my lactose is pretty much at nothing right now. I feel great, this is Big Drew. I hope you guys can change up your diet and get healthy and feel great and look great. We can help you here at Titan. Give us a call. We'll help you out. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. <laughs> That's right. So, you know, obviously we're getting in December, right? And uh, this is, you know, I think this is a big month for a lot of people out there. No matter what you celebrate, whether it's Hanukkah or Christmas or Kwanzaa or anything out there. I mean, if you don't celebrate and you don't believe in holidays or Christmas, it should be 
still, you should feel the, the spirit of a holiday, right? Well, you guys still drive past the Christmas lights on the street. Okay, yeah. so we, we got at least, you're going to see the lights in it. It's got to make yeah. you feel a little jolly inside. Yeah, so, you know, every <laughs> week me and Sharice like to talk about tips and tricks or things that are really going to help your relationship. We're going to expand off that. Maybe, you know, make your life better, you know, quality of life, improve it, whatever it may be, you know, so... We give us these tips, tricks, and info every week to maybe help you or benefit you in all these different ways. And I hope it's helping, you know, because God knows we've went through a lot of trials and tribulations and people we've known have went through these and we kind of try to learn from our experiences so we, re we don't repeat history no, in a negative way. let's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this, uh, this topic, you know, this week, I think we're going to talk about getting in the Christmas spirit or holiday spirit if you don't celebrate Christmas. Right? And I think it's important. I think it's a really, really important thing, especially the way that our current environment or climate is with everybody that's out there of having almost two years of COVID and all these different problems and things that, you know, a lot of people have had to deal with. Um, so at that point, you know, this month in particular, we should really take things back to the way it used to be. Um, now, what is Christmas about? And I'm just going to do Christmas because I celebrate Christmas. If you celebrate a different holiday, just apply it to that <laughs> right so you know when you get in the christmas spirit you know it should mean a couple of different things for you one you should be in a better mood you should really be in a better mood and it's a little bit easier for me i guess because i have my family and stuff like that if you don't have a family it might be a more depressed mood right now because you see everybody that has their families or the loved ones and you're like man i wish i had that that's understandable but you can still get in the christmas spirit you can still be jolly you don't want to be Scrooge, right? You know what happened to Scrooge. He got visited by all those ghosts and they terrorized him all night. And he finally realized that he was blessed. And he should be getting the Christmas spirit and he should be happy. And I think that's a big thing that's, that, that we're not doing right now. We're more selfish than ever, I think, as a population yeah. all the way around. It's getting pretty bad out there. And uh, it's just getting worse and worse. And... <clears throat> What Christmas and that spirit should really be about is giving back, right? And this isn't just giving material items. When, you know, people think of Christmas nowadays, like if you ask a kid, like, oh, I hope I get a whole bunch of presents. That's not really what Christmas is about. Christmas is about giving back to people. Mm -hmm. And if it's not a gift, it could be your time. It could be, you know, love. It could be whatever it is. But you're giving something to somebody. And it's better than receiving in my eyes, you know, I like to give a lot more than I like to receive. Yeah. Not to say I don't like to receive some things or some gifts or he whatever it is. He likes receiving some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> is this true? Uh, uh, I like to give too. Uh, yeah. And I think that that's what, it, what makes this month better than any other month. Because when you give something to somebody, you enlighten their day most of the time. So you're making their day or their month happier, right? You're enlightening them with these great memories because they've received something from you that they didn't think they were going to receive. And that could be a card. It could be a gift. Like I said, it could be your time or it could just be the love that you're giving them. And I think this is really important because, you know, if you do have a family, you know, what are you teaching your kids? And what are those kids going to learn? And what are those kids going to pass on to the future generations? What have they learned from us? Right? So I think that's a big, big thing out there. And I think it's it's been a lost message um, with everybody being so sensitive in, in today's time, it's it's crazy that some people don't say Merry Christmas no more or some people don't say Happy Holidays no more because they're worried about what the person is going to say back to them. Yeah. Are they going to be upset about it? Probably. Maybe not. Maybe so. You just don't know. Not I guess. really. I mean, I mean, I know that we usually say... I told, I told the girls when they're writing back in text messages and stuff like uh -huh. that, I'm like, listen... You could, if you, depending on what their status is, because they they're sharing their status. Of course. You can either say Merry Christmas or you can say Happy Holidays, but yeah. you need to say one of them. For sure. Not just like you know, have a good one or you know, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the year. Talk to you next year. <laughs> Talk to you next year. You know, because I mean, even if we, if, even if we bypass Christmas, right, we still have the New Year and the New You and a new everything. So it's just it, the whole month of December should be a like a collective review of just. A good happy feeling you know hopefully hopefully you're recapping the whole year and some of it may be good some of it might be bad but we all know that right the, that whole year 
that you've, you know, tacked on to this lovely <laughs> group of years that you have going that, you know, whether it was good or bad, you must have learned something from it, right? Mm-hmm. Learn something from something. And it made you better. Can't say it ever. I, I really in very, very seldom cases has it made you worse, right? It's made you better. You know, so you've learned from something. I know that I know I've learned from something this year. I know he's learned from something this year Absolutely. that has made you a better person, right? Absolutely. So, you know, I guess you could think of December as, you know, instead of it just being like uh, Christmas or whatever it might be, if a lot of people are just not wanting to believe in that or whatever it is, to just be better. You know, we can call it the Be Better Month. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and really Christmas should be reflecting uh, on the whole year and, you know, not just New Year's, but, you know, Christmas itself or the holiday itself. Um, it should be meaningful to you and you should be able to pass these things on to your children or to your friends or loved ones, whoever it is. Like I said, you don't want to be the Scrooge, right? So, you know, I'm not going to say that you're going to be happy or jolly every day, but you know, to be in a better mood and to, you know, wish somebody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it is, will probably make that person's day a little bit better, you know? And if you go out of your way and do something for them, they're probably going to remember that, right? And they're going to be more grateful for that too as well. And that should make you feel better too. Um, that's one, one thing, you know, that I feel like when I give something to somebody, um, in true, genuine form, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good because I'm like, man, I'm like, you know, these people are going to benefit from this or it's going to help them or they're really going to like this. And I get a smile on my face about that. Like, it's it just, it's something that makes me feel good. And I think that'll make a lot of people out there feel good and not getting caught up in all the drama and all the garbage that's out there and really focus on the holiday spirit, right? And that could be decorating with your family. It could be cooking cookies with them, um, having a dinner. I mean, I didn't dinner. even cook cookies so I met John. That's right. And that's isn't that crazy? It's cookie time. Mom, I love you. I know you're watching the show. I know, I know. Okay, don't tell me you cook cookies with me because me and you cook cookies. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. You did other stuff. You don't. Know, we wrap presents yeah, and stuff. It I, was fun. And, and this <laughs> this month sets traditions. Right. Right. And it sets tra- traditions for whatever your family or whatever you believe in. So at that point. You should make it a point to follow these traditions and to instill and ingrain these traditions with your family and with your loved ones. Mm-hmm. And that way every year you guys are looking forward to doing those traditions, whatever it may be. Because in Florida, it don't snow here. So it's not like we can go outside and make snowmen, right? No, and not even that, but like it literally doesn't feel like Christmas. It, like it, it doesn't. Listen. You go outside and you're in a tank top. I know he's from Chicago, so it feels like it's, it's Christmas for him no matter what. It's Christmas no like, matter what. The sun's out. I get to go outside and get a tan. That's it's right. Christmas, right? right? For me, I'm like, I've never seen Christmas before. This is Christmas. Like, you know, it's just it's summer all year long. So it's sunny outside. It's like literally like 80 degrees. You know, there's no snow. And I'm over here like, I want to build a snowman. We have to go to like these little globe places yeah. that uh, shoot out the the icy snow stuff. Almost yeah. like a, what is it, the snow machine thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you go there, like they had one, it was a lot of fun, let me just yeah. say that. But like they had a snow globe thing, right? And I'm like, oh my God, it's going to be so cool. And we like got dressed and you know, put a little mitten things on. This was last year. And we go into this little snow globe thing with Peter and, um, you know, went to go pick up the snow. And I'm thinking it's going to be, because I have seen snow before. I'm thinking it's going to be that soft snow. You kind of, like, pick it up and you, like, can put it into a little ball and, like, throw it at each other. And be like, hee, hee, hee. And it wasn't like that. <laughs> it's hard to replace real snow. <laughs> it was literally just, like, it was literally a block of ice. It's, and I'm like, yeah. wait, I, I got to, let me step on this so I can make a, a snowball or something. I'm like, what's going on here? And, you know, and then if you don't have traditions, <laughs> right, and maybe let's say you didn't have family before, right? you were adopted or something happened or you're by yourself, you know, you can still start these traditions by yourself. And then when you do create your own family, you can instill these and you can create your own traditions with them. And that can be a number of different things. That could be baking cookies, you know, making hot cocoa for each other and enjoying that together, watching Christmas movies all day and getting in the spirit like that, singing Christmas carols. Because there's different people out there. They like to sing. They like I, to enjoy themselves. I really, like, I would I would pay so much money to see you sing a Christmas carol this year. I'll sing a Christmas carol. Really? For charity. Okay, let's do it. But all I you guys are going to have to donate some money if I sing. <laughs> this is going to be good. And Make that, sure you guys get actually, this on camera. I'll, I'll put it on the show, too. <laughs> but i got to get some donations. I've never seen John sing outside of maybe a slight little rap song. Are you like, kidding me? Not a carol. What? La, 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 I don't la, gotta la. sing that one. 
Uh, no, I get to pick the carol. Rudolph the Red Nose no, no, Reindeer. No, 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 That's no, no, a Christmas no, no, carol. No. We're going to pick a carol for him. We're going to do a poll. That's not in the contract. Yep, we're going to do no. a poll on I got Facebook. Crea- I got creative overlook on this thing. Let's go. We're doing it. <laughs> I mean, that's just what, that's another thing, right? And then, listen, if you live up north and you do got snow, you can take your kids, you know, sledding, right? Snowmobiling, like all different types of things. When I grew up as a kid, that was the big thing. It was snowmobiling. It was being around, you know, outside, enjoying the snow and all that. And having these traditions where family came over and such. But listen, you make the decision about what gets you in the holiday spirit. All I know is you got to get there. So get there however you can. All right. That's the point. All right, guys, we love you. Thank you guys for joining us for another Cupid's Corner. And guess what? We're going to be coming back at you guys the rest of this month and all 2022. (laughs) So set those DVRs for ABC at 11 a.m., right? And if not, you guys can watch us on YouTube. Just type in Type Medical Center. All the shows will be there as well. So we love you guys. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner, 11 a.m. on ABC. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.